Community theater has positively impacted neighborhoods across the globe. It's an opportunity for a variety of local talent to ignite arts culture and amplify the heartbeat of any city. And the community theater scene in Las Vegas is one to be reckoned with. Get ready, we're about to go backstage in Vegas. Tonight, the Las Vegas Little Theater will open their production of Tuck Everlasting, and I'm here to get the backstage scoop on the production with director Walter Niedlich. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, and Melissa Rietzler, who is playing May Tuck in the production. Welcome to you as well. Thank you. So excited to get into it. So, Walter, mm. talk to me a little bit about the history of Las Vegas Little Theater. Sure. Uh, we've been around for about 44 years. Uh, we've moved around different locations uh, throughout the city. Uh, started by Jack Bell and Jack Nicholson, not the famous actor. Got it. Uh, and uh, we've just grown over the years, moved different spaces till uh, we've landed here about 15 years ago, uh, where we have three performance spaces. Wonderful. Now, you said over 40 years. Yes. Okay. So that means there's been a lot of productions, right, over, yes, the, over yes. those years. How did Tuck Everlasting make the cut? Um, we look for things that are we think will be interesting to our audience um, that will fit on our very small stage and um, that we think we can do well and we just we really love this show so uh, it seemed like a good fit. Yes. Now, Melissa, talk to us about your experience performing with Las Vegas Little Theater and doing this production as well. Well, I started doing shows back on five, six, seven, eight years. I don't even. <laughs> anymore. Um, I did a little night music, Walter directed that as well. And when I heard that they were doing Tuck Everlasting, I was so excited because it's a beautiful story. Um, and it's been a wonderful production, a rehearsal period. We have a cast of 19 and we have a couple kids in there. So it's a fabulous group. That is wonderful. And so what is the process like, and Walter, you can speak to this, mm. of selecting talent for productions like this? Well, we do an open audition. Our shows, all the roles are open to anyone in the community that wants to come down on our audition dates, which are on our website. And uh, just audition, we provide you with the materials to audition with. We might ask you to sing if it's a musical, like Talk Everlasting, but otherwise we'll give you pages from the script. We read through it, we might give you a little direction, and then we cast from the folks that audition. Nice. Now you're telling us the process on the uh, on the side that you are in, mm -hmm. which is directing. <laughs> Melissa, give us a little bit when it comes to being talent and auditioning for productions like this. It can be scary. You've never done it before, but if you're new to theater and you want to try it out, Las Vegas Little Theater is the place to come because they are just so welcoming. They make you feel like it doesn't matter if you've ever done this before, we're gonna see you, we're gonna hear you, and they take you through the whole process. It's it's very nice. It's, it's wonderful. So talk to us a little bit about, you guys are a nonprofit. Yes. So how do you guys get your support and how can people volunteer? Let's say someone's like, I just wanna do something for them, but I may not want to be in the show. <laughs> Um, we are a 501c3 nonprofit, so um, we do accept tax-deductible donations, and we have a great uh, support system with our patrons, but um, always we need funds to do shows like this and to rent our space and run the AC and all that stuff. As for volunteers, we are almost an entirely volunteer organiz organization, so we need folks to stuff envelopes, work backstage if you're not really ready to step foot on stage, you know, uh, building sets, painting sets, stuffing envelopes. Just come to our website and uh, there's a volunteer button and you can send your info and we'll contact you and see how we can get you to work. Wonderful, I think that's important <laughs> to know. You don't necessarily have to be in a show right. to support, mm -hmm. right? There's so many different ways. Absolutely. So before we close today, I really really want to talk about something that is really on my heart and truly the reason why Backstage in Vegas exists, which is the conversation of why is it so important to support your local arts, but even more specifically, community theater? It's We, we try to think we're accessible to everyone in the community. Um, you might not always have the money to go see a show down the strip, but we like to think we provide opportunity to see high quality entertainment with your friends and neighbors performing, and they're really talented. Um, and it, it's a great community outlet, social outlet. That's where I've met my circle of friends after moving here 20 years ago. And um, we always get new folks. So we just, it's a great family and a great family of friends here. As an actor, I get to come here and be somebody else completely. Yeah. And I get the opportunity to do it because I, you know, 
Many people have a day job. They can't go and perform other places. So they can come here at night and they get to perform or they can come here after work and they can see a show. They don't have to spend a lot of money and they get to meet new people and see wonderful entertainment. Yes, absolutely. I completely agree with you both. It is so important to support our local theaters. Yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much for having us today and having this conversation with me. This has been wonderful. I'm so excited <laughs> to see this show. Let me just add, do not miss the production of Tuck Everlasting. It's at Las Vegas Little Theater, and they are opening tonight, you guys, all the way until July 30th. For tickets and information, you can visit lvlt.org.